What's good, everybody? So about a year ago, I got these dolls from this yard sale from this guy. And he had a lot of antique stuff out in his yard. Um, he had some electronics, you know, just some old classic stuff if you were into collecting things. He had a little bit for everybody. Um, and this was pretty much almost at the bottom of the barrel of the stuff that he had. The rest of the stuff, I'm sure he probably was going to just throw it away. Because I don't think nobody was going to buy that. Um, especially the stuff that I seen that was left. Um, so when I seen him, I backed up because I seen something like a little stereo, a little jukebox. Old school jukebox with a cassette player. But then he had some other things at this yard sale <laughs> that caught my attention. And these classic dolls, porcelain dolls. The hands is porcelain and the face is porcelain. And they were... They had on these outfits as if they was from the Wild West days. And I said, I'm going I'm to I'm 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 get them. Them dolls might be haunted. Some haunted dolls. And I wanted to see if there was any energy behind these dolls. So, of course, Trey 5-7 stopped to get these dolls. And uh, going on about mm, two weeks. I say two weeks. Because they was left in a box. Because they were still in the box. Keep in mind. I don't have the boxes now. Um, but they are um, the Dynasty Doll Collection. And they are some good um, quality dolls. So I'm going to put some of them up for sale. And hopefully somebody out there would want to buy one. But me saying that they haunted, they might not want to buy them. But anyway, let me jump in this video and show y'all these dolls. Now, I'm going to set the cameras up so... To see if I capture some kind of activity with these dolls. Um, I will say that that two weeks after me having them, the third week uh, I decided to do a little recording. I lit a candle and I panned the camera past the dolls a few times. And then in the middle of that video, you heard something say, Yup. Yup. That's exactly what they said. Um, no, it wasn't nobody else present. There was nobody in the background making no fake noise. I don't have that to do. I'm just sharing this with y'all. So this is the first doll. Um, this looked like, this, I guess she's some kind of biker chick. She got on the leathers. The, the, the dynasty people that made these dolls, they went through a whole heck of a lot to um, craft these dolls. Um, whether these dolls have horse mane, like horse hair, um, or whatever, we don't know what energy is attached to these dolls. So I had to find out for myself. And trust me, I did. So tonight I'm going to set up some cameras and see if I can capture any kind of movement that I cannot capture with the naked eye. Whether I leave a room and then one of them turn their head. Y'all, a lot of things do happen. It's a lot of videos all over YouTube with that. So with that being said, this is one of the Dynasty Doll Collections. And, um, she doesn't, she had a name, the box had her name on it, but her hands, they're porcelain. Her hands are porcelain. Her face, hear that? Her face is porcelain. She got the bandana. No, she's not a gang member, but she got the bandana. Um, there is a TV show that used to come on called The Haunted Collector. And he has collected a lot of things that had some energy attached to him. Now, you can say what you want. You shouldn't have that. You shouldn't do that. We shouldn't do a lot of things. But anyway, um, this hair doll, I don't know which one the energy came out of. They said it. And I got the video on the channel. You got to go back in my videos to see. And I'm going to actually look at my channel and see what the title of that video was called. Where it went, yo, it's pretty crazy. It didn't scare me, but it was like, wow, yeah, the other side is there. So she got the leather outfit. Um, she got the little fringes on her pants, on her leather, you know, biker clothes. So when she riding, this cuts down on the wind when she riding her bike. Um, and with all honesty, this, ho this hair could be horse hair and... Uh, I mean, I don't know what else they can make the hair out of. I know when I was little, my aunt had Barbie dolls. And my grandmother told me that some dolls 
hair was made from horse mane. Um, so that's that on that. And they do sell, people can sell their hair when they cut their hair. She also told me that. And they can sell their hair. So I'm sure somewhere on the line, somebody rich sold their hair and then it got put on the market. But then I don't care what nobody say. The doll's hair that, and the Barbie dolls that was out was not human hair, y'all. So don't freak yourself out about it because if you burn human hair, it smells, you can smell the burn. It's, it has an odor to it when you burn hair. It smells nothing like hair if you burn off of one of these dolls because it smells like plastic burning. When you burn a person's hair, it smells like something cooking. So that's this doll here. I'll let you see her close up. Okay, that's the eyes of this doll. Yep, she's porcelain. And, I mean, I, uh, I, I, I hope to capture something so y'all can see that the other side does exist, different dimensions, somehow, you know, manifest and be near. Here's one right here. This is the Dynasty doll. Once again, porcelain hands, porcelain face. Uh, Western type outfit. Um, uh, see porcelain. Look at the eyes. Can y'all see her eyes here? Better yet, let me do this. Look at her eyes. There they go. So there's millions of videos floating out there on the internet where things paranormal, what they call it, goes on in an establishment. So this is a test that I'm going to be running. And I got to say something to y'all real quick. Um, when I got this doll, y'all, y'all don't got to believe me. See how her, um, her head is turned to the left. Well, it's to my left. It's turned left, okay? Her head... Her neck was, her face was straight. I promise y'all that. So she was like this at one point. So right now her neck is turned and her head is turned. And listen, you can't turn none of that. No, these aren't real pearls. I would have turned this in a long time ago and got the pearls and probably moved to El Segundo. But this doll here is a porcelain doll. Um, and she is a Dynasty Collector's Edition. Um... I don't have the box anymore, but each doll has a number on them, okay? So, uh, yeah, each doll has a number. She got on her click your heels like Dorothy, see them? And this doll right here is worth a lot of money, worth a lot of money. That's another reason why I have them. And the guy told me as well, he didn't have to tell me that. Depending on how long you keep them and then once you can't find them no more, I'm sure you could find some knockoffs or you could find some online, period. Maybe the originals. But if somebody is in the area and don't have access to the internet and they want one of these and you're willing to throw something, here you go. I'll package her up and send her to you. But I must remind you, these dolls, one of these dolls just happen to have some energy to them or maybe all, all of them together. I had four. One of them broke. I'm kind of upset about it because it was a nice one. It was a real nice one. Um, her face broke. This one here, she's another one. She got on some white shoes. Look at that. Remember them shoes when you was a kid and your parents would have them made with bronze, like copper, and they was on like a little platform, looked like a trophy, and they had it poured over your baby shoe? I'm sure y'all remember them. Y'all don't remember them shoes? I do. Comment down in the comment section if y'all remember about them shoes. Them bronze shoes, was it was your real size baby shoe. Put in them... Um, in those plaques. Um, so here you go. She's porcelain all over, porcelain all the way up to her arm and her face. So she is one of my favorite, but there was another one. Um, her outfit is pretty cool. Y'all see that? Hold on. I can hear y'all in the comments now, but whatever. Anyway, it's a haunted doll collection is all I'm saying. See the eyes? See them? Ooh. 
I know the mines didn't die later move or nothing. So y'all see the eyes. So what I'm going to do is see if this doll does make some kind of movement throughout these security um, clips that this going to be recording. All right. And if one of them happens to fall for no reason, they shouldn't fall. The way I set them up, y'all, there's going to be no reason for these dolls to fall unless that's all I'm saying. So this is one of them. And these are collector's items. And if anybody would like to purchase one of these dolls from your boy, Trey57, well, what would I want them? I can get them online, but you ain't get them from Trey57. If you want one of these, I will ship one of these dolls, one of these three dolls to you. All right? So stay tuned for the video um, that's coming, which will be uploaded tomorrow, just to see if we capture anything. And I'm going to upload them anyway. Because y'all might capture something that I didn't get to see. So here you go. The Dynasty Doll Collection that have some haunted energy to them, y'all. Trust me. One of them. I don't know which one. It might have been the one that was broke. For all I know, y'all, just what if one of these dolls, I know, oh, you nigga crazy. I said, yeah, I said that word. Might have hit the other one and cracked her face. And that one went in the garbage. Just being honest, the porcelain crack. It take a nice hit to crack the face of one of these dolls. Comment, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications. Stay tuned for the uh, the clips to see if anything paranormal happens with one of these dolls.